Before you enter the shrine, take a look at the three large stone figures on the wall above the entrance. Sculpted by Vernon Hill, they represent courage, justice and victory. The building itself bears some resemblance to an air traffic control tower, the first structure the air crew would have seen on returning safely to base. Inside the door to the left, you can see the visitor's book, which was signed by the Queen, and also the ceremonial key she was presented with in October 1953 when the memorial was opened. The shrine is a quiet, solemn space intended for private reflection. Take a look at the large arched window. It's engraved with the words of Psalm 139 from the Bible, often known as the Airman Psalm. If I climb up into heaven, thou art there. If I go to hell, thou art there also. If I take the wings of the morning and remain in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there also shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. These words are reflected in the engraved designs, which seem to float in the air above the landscape beyond. The patterns you see in the glass, above the angels, are representations of aircraft vapour trails, taken from actual photographs of the sky during the Battle of Britain. The artist, John Hutton, also painted the ceiling in here, the four winds, planets and phases of the moon, scattered with gold stars. These represent the forces that accompany the pilot in his journey across the skies. From the shrine, you can access a circular staircase which leads up two floors to the roof and to a spectacular view.